girl stuff. Our next guest, we could not wait to sit down with, especially because she is our own sister. Crystal Hazley, welcome to the BGS house. Thanks, yes, Crystal. Well, yes. yes. What's it's good? Like you. Yes. We're super excited to have you here, and your career has been soaring. We want to know, how did you even get started doing what you do, girl? Because you do it well. It's a very um, complex answer, but I was working on Capitol Hill okay. after college, decided that I had more to offer the world, mm. and I took a leap of faith and moved to Atlanta in 2009. I'm sure you guys can all attest to this. You have friends that were like really succeeding and thriving yes. here. So I was like, if my friends can do it down there, I can do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. If I can make it anywhere, I can make it in Atlanta. So I moved to Atlanta, and uh, it was not that. It was so hard. And um, for years, it took a, a long time to even get my foot in the door. Mm -hmm. A lot of no's. And in 2012, um, I was when I moved here in 2009, I was pursuing music and acting. Just working in the music industry, I'm not sure if any of you have ever worked in the music industry, but it's a very male-dominated industry. Oh, sure. It's really tough to navigate. And I um, said, OK, let me just try the acting world. So I did that and kept getting no after no after no after no. And one day, my friend of mine said, hey, why don't you just try? Um, she was styling me for my music per performances. And she said, why don't you just try working in the costumes department? You can still be around acting mm. and study what you really want to do. And I was like, OK, that's a good idea. Mm. And I'm really big on that when people say, what should I do? Mm. Get around what you want to do. That's yeah. true. And I did that. I started as a PA, getting coffee. It had nothing to do with what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I know. It's be my time. Right. <laughs> Listen. And uh, worked my way up through costumes, ended up um, being the costume designer, styled Tyler for five years. Years, had auditioned mm -hmm. at the studio, no after no mm -hmm. after no. Even Tyler had no idea that I wanted to act. Wow. No, wow. he had no idea. And then in 2019, Sisters came about. I was reading the scripts, I was a costume designer, and I was producing the show, still a producer on the show. And um, I was like, Tyler, this is it. And he's like, what? And I was like, I want to act. And he was like, I had no idea. I was like, yeah, I've auditioned for you. He was like, what? Right. Wow. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I had no idea. But you were right in front of Tyler, though, for, as you said, years. five years beforehand. What? Longer than that. Like, why <laughs> yeah. didn't you shoot your shot, you know, before then? What made you say, I'm just going to audition on my own versus mm -hmm. tell the guy that you want the job? Right. <laughs> it's funny because um, with Tyler, you see that if you're working that close as a stylist, I know all you can attest to your style, your stylist is very close to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw day in and day out, all, everybody wants something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like, I need to be the person that just need to do my job and be there. Whatever I need to work on, that's my own thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I never wanted to be the person, like another person, like, hey, uh, this is what can I want. I? Yeah. Can I? I can you please? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I just never wanted to be like that. I wanted to earn it, work for it. And in that moment, it was something that I knew God was saying, this is the time. Because mm -hmm. it hadn't pulled on me since I started styling him. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that itch to audition for anything. I literally just focused on Tyler for those five years. And when Sisters came about, I couldn't fight it. And I talked to people, um, Tina Gordon, who produced Praise This, yeah. and she was like, if you don't say something, yeah. I was like, OK, I'm going to say something. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I said it, and Tyler was so supportive. Mm -hmm. He was so I supportive. Mm -hmm. I mean, and clearly, you got far enough, and you did well enough with mm -hmm. Sisters to yeah. really land your own spinoff with DeVale. Like, yes. how does that feel to just be you know, leading your own show? Mm -hmm. It feels amazing. Mm -hmm. It's so much, guys. Uh, one of the guys who works at the studio who's really, um, he's one of the VPs. He walked up to Tyler, he goes, you're really giving her her own show? Mm. And he said, that girl sacrificed five years of her life for mm. me. You think I'm not going to bless her? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's the heart of Tyler Perry. Mm. Yes. He sees everything. Even mm -hmm. as busy as he is, mm -hmm. he sees it. Mm -hmm. Even the fans. Like, right. from season two, when Fatima was really introduced, because season one, no one knew. It was just, oh, that's Andy's secretary. Yes. <laughs> they didn't know my name or anything. <laughs> to see how she took off season two, the fans just navigated to her and was like, Oh my gosh, like, who is this girl? And the love they show, Fatima was trending every week, still trends every week. Even mm -hmm. when we're not on, she's still trending. They're like, That's amazing. it's something yeah. special here. We got to do something with it. Mm -hmm. And when Zatima came about, DeVal actually, in a scene of Sisters, he was like, it's me and you, Zatima. Say it. And I was like, Zatima, okay, you're so, you're so corny. Right. And um, that's how Zatima Look came, like, that. the name came mm -hmm. apart. Yeah, but we were sitting on Fatima's bed on the set, and Tyler walked in. We were studying lines, and he stopped, and he looked at DeVal and I, he goes, I like this. Yeah. And DeVal and I were like, I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, we're getting our own show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is you and DeVell and his wife, Kadeen, are actually really close in real life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're their youngest son, God Mom. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah, so was yeah. it hard for you to create that chemistry on set? It was. Um, 
the season two, when we first like introduced Zach and Fatima, it was very hard for me. I had never kissed on scene, on camera. Oh, wow. It was really hard. And I'm like, this is a married man. I couldn't separate. Mm -hmm. Acting developed. And it's your best friend. Yeah, husband. like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, and that's how I didn't, I hadn't gotten that close to them. Like, we were still, our relationship grew over the years. And um, Kadena's always been so supportive. And he had to call her. I was like, can you please tell this girl it's okay to kiss me? Because she's Aww. over here acting like a five year old. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. Like we have intimacy coordination, and the intimacy coordinator was like, "Okay, now you guys need to kiss so we can make sure it looks real on TV. If there's anything you're uncomfortable with, let's talk about it now." Right. And um, I was just like, "I'm not comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a lot. It's hard. It's hard." And um, once we got those jitters out, Kadeen gave me her blessing. I was like, "All right, I have a job to do." She said, "We need these checks to clear, and I need mine to clear too. So <laughs> let's figure it out." <laughs> Four I was like, I got you, sis. Don't worry about it. No, but it's so much that you have to put into a character, like especially mm -hmm. when they, you have the show and you guys carry it. Mm -hmm. So like you talk about having to let go of those jitters and that nervousness mm -hmm. with building that chemistry yeah. with Deval. But what was it like, or what part of you, the crystal, of Crystal, mm -hmm. did you have to let go to build out Fatima? Mm -hmm. You know, ooh, that's a good one, Bri. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so good. Um, because it's actors. We often judge our characters, mm -hmm. and this is something Deval taught me too. Because Deval's been doing this a lot longer than I have, mm. and um, he's like, "Crystal, you have to stop judging Fatima." Because I'm like, "She would never do that." No, Crystal would Crystal never do would that. Crystal would never do that. Stop yes. thinking that because there is a Fatima. There's a lot of Fatimas out there. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of women that are going through the same things Fatima mm -hmm. goes through, and I have to represent those women through this character. Yes. And when I let that go, I was like, okay, it was all, it was all, it was out here. She was on fire. And I, I was able to sit in that. And after season two, like I can pick her right back up. Mm -hmm. And it yes. takes me a minute to like get out of her too. Like yeah, when we wrap, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I still talk like Fatima for like a week or so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to leave until we play a good game Ooh. with you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a rap lyric, okay. and you gotta tell me if it's fact for you, mm -hmm. if it's fantasy for you, or if it's just fiction. Okay, let's do it. Okay. You're my little <laughs> secret, and that's how we should keep it. Yeah. Okay, that is definitely fact. I like wow. that. Wait, 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 wait. I was about to say, okay. that's how I'm blowing away. <laughs> Fans are fans, and they yeah. be wanting to be in all your business. Are Baby. you nervous mm -hmm. about like being open in a relationship right now? Not nervous about it, but timing is everything. Yeah, you people ruin a good thing. They do. They you got to make sure that you you and your person are secure and rooted. Yeah. And the thing I love is like we in Jesus, so mm -hmm. yeah. it's like mm -hmm. keeping him the center, so that when that those things come and those yeah. outside yeah, voices, we already mm -hmm. it's like. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like a here. timeline though. It's like okay, mm -hmm. we got to be sneaky links for a year, and then we could pop out. Or I don't believe in sneaky. Oh, I'm, I'm very. I don't hide my person. If you oh, see us, okay. you see us. Okay. We're gonna move how I want to move, but yeah. I'm not about to like broadcast. It's not right, right, right. Yeah, it's like yeah. Okay, I like boarding jets. I like morning sex. But nothing in this world that I like more than check. Hey. Period. That's a big fact. All the things. I know. Okay, Cardi. Boy, this pussy make movies. Wetter than a well. Boy, this pussy be choosing. Jaff NFL. Ooh, Jaff NFL. Jaff NFL. Wow, that's crazy. That's a fact. Y'all just ain't my business. I'm not going to say it. All right, last one. Okay. I know how to. Uh, I know, I know how to ride. ride. I, I can, can spin, spin around, around and keep it still inside. inside. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. it's been so long. Like, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? So we're going to say that's fantasy. That's fantasy. Right. Yeah. I didn't know fantasy. how to do that. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, turn a brown. OK, right stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> So, Crystal, you know you're more than welcome to stop by the BGS house anytime. <laughs> we drop that new did. single. We become yes. a Disney yes. princess. The new movie. The new movie. Yes. We're here to support it all. All right. Thank and now, you. BGS fam, you make sure you support and stream Zatima right now on BET+. Mm -hmm. Let's run them numbers up. I know that's right. Okay. Yes. Please. <laughs>